I got that Panther. water. Change the way you hydrate, brother. Yo, little man, hey, hey, check it out. I got commemorative plates, two for 20. How many you need? I'm cool. Man, can you believe it? In a few days, we're gonna have a black superhero movie. Aren't you excited, little man? Eh. Eh? What's eh supposed to mean? Just means eh. Yo, what the deal, man? Yo, what's yo, going yo, on what's here? Up, man? Yo, what's up, man? I asked this kid if he was excited about Black Panther. And he said eh. Eh? He said eh? Yeah, what's wrong with you? You're not excited? Not excited? Who ain't excited? This little nigga right here. Why ain't he excited? So you don't like Black Panther. You want Be a racist. I never said that. Why ain't you like Black Panther? He got a lovely movie review. Not according to this little nigga. He got a problem with a black Superhero. Boy, what's going on? What did I tell you about talking to anybody about anything? I didn't say anything. I don't know. What's, what's wrong with this kid? Kids, everybody. Just break that hole, dog. Yeah, guess what the hey, hell is going on here? Ruckus? Oh, no. This little big haired nigga hates Black Panther. And I say, Good for him. Leave this little boy alone. He telling the truth. Black Panther. He's an evil man. Hey, everybody. Hey, just hey, calm hey. down. Oh, hell no. Ow, ow. I can't say. Uh, uh, oh, it's a police stampede. Face off. Somebody. Get in the car. Wait. Ride, ride. Go, go, go. Hey, what is up, YouTubers? It's your boy, Kos. And, uh here to talk about Black Panther and uh, my official review of the, mo of the movie and just all the hype surrounding this movie um, as uh, an African American and um, a second generation African um, in America. It's... <sighs> I just want to start off by saying this. The hype train for Black Panther was just so, so over the top, and, um, yeah, we all saw that Twitter post of, uh, that guy saying, oh, if you don't like Black Panther, you're a racist or whatever, and, um, it's just ridiculous, uh, if you don't like a movie, yeah, and that makes you racist, then, you know, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say um, about the state of this of, of objective um, movie critiquing. Uh, Black Panther was, to me, uh, your ordinary superhero movie, um, your ordinary Marvel movie. It wasn't like, oh my god, if this is the best movie ever, but it also wasn't a completely terrible movie. Um, and I tried, I tried so hard to see this movie objectively. I mean, all these black nationalists coming out of the woodwork, all these Johnny Come Latelys um, coming out of the woodwork, people who a couple years ago didn't even know what Black Panther was, hadn't even heard the superhero, legit was saying, was thinking that. Um, this was some kind of uh, movie about the actual Black Panthers, like Huey P. Newton and all these other guys, like, not even knowing who the Black. Just they just see the the words Black Panther and they think, oh my God, like it, it must be about uh, the Black struggle and whatnot. And they sort of tied it into that and into the movie with Killmonger's motivations uh, being to arm every Black person everywhere and have them overthrow and kill everybody. Which is basically his solution to everything in the movie is to, if, if it's not working for you, kill it. So, um, yeah, Killmonger was, I don't know, he, he was kind of a, he, he was cool sometimes, but then other times you, you look at his motivations and you're just like, like, how am I supposed to feel sympathetic for this kid? Like, I know his father died and that wasn't cool, but, um, the way the Wakandan government handled it was just not great at, at all either. And um, a couple of criticisms that I agree with is that really all of Wakanda should be able to, to harness the power of the earth. But um, I guess it's they didn't really go into details like why it was just uh, the royal family that, that owns um, that has the that can consume the herb and um, just a couple other things. Those cloak, uh, shields or whatever, spoiler alert, uh, those, they had, some Wakandan warriors had, like, cloak shields, and, and they were just 
bad. So, uh, good things. Good things. I really loved uh, the aesthetics of the movie. I really loved the sound design and the music. Uh, I really loved uh, the costumes and whatever. Uh, I really loved how Afrofuturistic it was. Bad things. Um, bad accents. <laughs> that's, that's someone who, who's around Africans all the time. Bad accents. And the CGI was spotty in some places, but otherwise it was it was okay. Killmonger is a douche. Yeah, Killmonger is like okay. Um, he's he's not the greatest villain ever out there, but he he's he's all right. Jordan B. Peterson did a great job acting as him, though. He did a great job as an actor for a character that was. Uh, that was not, um, they, they didn't portray him as the greatest villain, but he was, he was, um, representative of a lot of the, the, the thought processes of a lot of Pan-Africanists out there, uh, who are like, oh, well, you know what, we should just kill Whitey, and everything will be great, and that's not necessarily the case, so I guess it's, it's kind of an appeal to those, uh, Black Lives Matter, pan Africanists out there who uh, feel like everything will be just great without Europeans and, you know, we should just overthrow everybody. But um, I would like to point out that while the the references in the movie to outdated memes like, like what are those and whatnot kind of were kind of cringeworthy in hindsight, I wanted to put together this review, this short review afterward after a few uh, days, a few days, well, like, like a week and a half after I saw the, saw the actual film, so, so that I had some time to reflect on what was actually objectively good or bad, because directly after a film, I noticed that I can't really focus on, um, on what is objectively bad about the film, you know, especially with everyone on, on the hype train, cheering everything that happened in the movie, laughing at everything that happened in the movie, and um, it's really hard in that moment to take a film and review it objectively, but as someone who has a uh, first-hand experience with, with being around actual West Africans and um, African culture, um, I have to say that it, the movie is aesthetically pleasing. I have to say that I, I've, or, I've already stated that I love the graphics. I love the, the look and feel of the movie. Um, it, it still had that sort of West African vibe to it, but I love how they put it into like the future. And I felt like Black Panther really was about where Africans can go. It wasn't really. Is it? Black Panther has never really been about. Um, Africans as they once were or whatever um, it's always been especially the comics it's always been about the possibility about um, where we can go where we can see ourselves with strong leadership and if we're all united under one un, under strong leadership and if we all get our uh, acts together and stop making excuses where we can be where we aim to be. That's where Black Panther, that's what Black Panther's message in the comics has always been. It's always been about where Africans want to be versus where they are. So it is kind of a power fantasy. And Wakanda, even though it's not real, you know, we have this Wakanda Forever movement. And I'm looking at these guys like, where were you guys like <laughs> in the early 2000s? Like, I didn't see any Black Panther, pa Panther fans or, or as many of you then. Also, people acting like this is the first black superhero movie. <laughs> they need to do some research. Because this is... I've heard it like several times. I've seen several videos now. About oh, how this is like, oh, finally we have a black superhero. Like, you really just gonna ignore Blade and, and, and all the other black superhero movies that have come before this? Like, get out, get, get out of here. But anyway, all these casuals aside, um, and the hype train aside, it was an alright movie. I'd honestly give it a 6, six or 7 out of 10. Um, it was alright. But, uh, you know, to me it was, a, it was, it was your typical, as, to me as a long-term Marvel comic reader, and a, a, a fan, and um, 
the son of, of West African immigrants. It was an all right movie. So uh, it wasn't it wasn't disastrous, but the fun I don't know the final fight was was meh. the CGI was just kind of kind of threw me off, and it was it wasn't all that it was cracked up to be um, in my eyes. But uh, yeah, like let me know what you thought about Black Panther. Um, any, any kind of um, comments or whatever, uh, anything you felt I didn't say or didn't mention, feel free to uh, point it out in the comment section. That'd be much appreciated, guys. I always appreciate your feedback. Um, yeah, I I see Black Panther as as um, <clears throat> the aspirations. Of where where Africans and African Americans um, wish to be and where they want to go, or what they what they feel like they they could have achieved or they can achieve. So I so I, I feel like there is a positive message in Black Panther um, for Africans, and I feel as though this movie it's not really. I mean, it takes some shots at, at white people like you know colonizers or whatever. Um, when, when that girl calls calls that uh, one white guy a colonizer, I was like, huh, that's funny. But um, it's not entirely about race, and uh, I guess I could um, I could appreciate that because I, I don't like it when someone makes it completely about race or about one thing or another. I, I, I would I would recommend you you see the movie for yourself, but don't be like, oh my god, it's gonna be the best movie ever. Just temper your expectations, okay, guys. Alright, it's your boy Coast signing off. Peace.